Hi guys, it's Kim Dello here and I wanted to share with you one of my favourite art tips and tricks in this bite-sized video. So what do you think of the humble flyer? You know the sort of thing, they are free in your magazines, they drop out of your newspapers, drop through your letterbox, or you go to an event, you pick them up at a library, a gallery, a museum. They're often really useful, I mean they've got a calendar for the event or they're selling you a product. So once the event's finished, or you know, the product is old, or whatever, what do you do with them? You put them in recycle. Well, stop right there, because they are great journals. I keep a whole bunch of them on my work desk. They're easy to grab, and you can use them for pretty much anything. So what do you look out for when you're trying to choose a flyer to use? Well, try them all, I say. See which one you like. I particularly like the ones that have the matte paper. You could easily use the ones with glossy finished paper as well. Uh, you just have to put a layer of gesso before you did anything else. But with the matte, you really don't have to do much to them other than use them. They are surprisingly resilient. I've had mine for a few years now and I work in and out of them uh, on regular occasions. I quite often have many on the go at once, so I can be working on several pages at once. And I've glued in them, I've made texture with paint in them, I've used all sorts of various things, other texture paste. I've even used them with watercolours. So here's a book I've only just started, and I bought this with me as my sample book at Ali Pali. Um, it's my paper artsy specific book. So this one I've used some of their crackle glaze and the fresco paints. I've used it with stamping. I've also used the grunge paste through a stencil on that page. And there's more grunge paste here. It goes on really well with these on this paper. Some pages are unfinished, but I've also got a page where I've just been cleaning my tools, and I'll come back to that later. And a page that I did one of my faces for my regular show your face on my blog. So here's one of my finished books, and I can tell it's finished because I've now decorated the cover. And I've used this for all sorts of different experiments and just daily journaling. I've used it to work out articles, to experiment with new products, um, look at layouts, even to do some sketching out and about. Take it, put it in my handbag. Um, also, I've used it for some gel skin work. And if there's pages that you think are going to get stuck together, then put a little bit of baking paper in between them to stop them from sticking. The middle of the book's great because you can do a great double layer with no problem with the fold. And this is kind of the great thing about them. I call them my junk journals. So anytime you see me discussing my junk journals on my blog, this is what I mean. So there you have it, a quick tour of some of my junk journals. I hope it's persuaded you to repurpose some of your flyers too if you're not doing that already. Um, remember that they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and they can be great fun to try out. I'm Kim Dello. You can find me on my blog, kimdello.co.uk and also on my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.